Hi. After we connected the data mover to the zinc and we understood what we need to do for issue a command and issue the data chunk, we need the data generator. Now the data generator will be use will use a Verilog file. So we will create a Verilog file. We'll call it call it data gen. We'll make a new directory here, RTL. And we start writing our code. Now first, the data generator need clock and reset. Next, the data generator has to address those three buses, the command and the stream to memory XI stream bus. Now, the XI stream bus is a standard bus of Xilinx and we have to use this methodology because once we have the file we want to put it in our block design. Uh, in our block design, for the block design to understand that this is an AXI stream bus it has to follow this methodology of how to write the stream bus. So we actually going to write We have to follow the Xilinx methodology. So here we have a slave AXI stream, stream to memory. We have a data keep last ready and valid. So I generated the signals following those methodology. We are using M because we are master, we generate here. And we have data keep last ready and valid. Next, we'll need the stream, the command. This we have only three signals, 72 bits of data ready and valid for both stream to memory and memory to stream. So we follow the same methodology. And add those signals. Here I added the signals exactly the same way. I just added the word command to different this from the uh, AXI stream bus. Next, for the data generation, we need to control it and we will use a VIO. So we need six signals. When we start a transaction, which will issue a command transaction and then a transaction for the stream, we need the address and the size and the same for the memory to stream but here we don't generate data we only generate the command so now we can start writing our code since the data the vio will rise the start signal we need to derivative it and we'll use a 4 bit shift register to do that because in the because in the memory to stream we just need to generate the command but in the stream to memory we need to generate the command and later on generate the data so we will use four bits of shift register with the one with the first byte we will initiate the command and in the third bit we will initiate the transaction. Now we need to generate the transaction. First we need to know how many words do we need. We need words of six, of 32 bits and we have a size of, in bytes. So every word is 4 bytes. So we have to divide this by 4. So I'll define the signal. I call EOF, end of frame, which will take 
the size and remove two bits so we divide it by four and remove one because we use the zero uh, number so this is when the transaction has ended next for the data generation itself we need a counter and an on signal this is a simple counter and this is an on showing that we are not generating and this is how we generate the data for the AXI stream bus we have after reset everything is zero once it's zero once uh, send on is low the counter will be zero and wait for the shift register to produce seven this means that this is two bits after it rose so we have the time for the command once it rose we raise the send on and the generation start generator start working so once it's on and the red is on the counter is counting until the counter reaches the end of frame signals which i remind you is the size of the stream to memory size divided by four minus one once it reach this value it will reduce the sign on the send on signal and the transaction will end uh, if in the middle the ready went low then this if will not be true so it won't work the second if this the signed on is still on only the ready went low so nothing happened so actually what will happen if the ready went low is that the machine will froze and wait for the ready to come up again and that's exactly what we want now we need to connect this to the XI stream bus of the stream to memory here is the data the ready was used here so we don't, we don't need it the data is just the counter twice because we're using four, uh, 32 bits the keep as we saw in the in the simulation in the commendation of xilinx is always f so we use always f the last use exactly the same condition as the counter once we reach the end of the transaction the end of frame it will rise and, uh, define the left and otherwise it's zero and the valid is the send on so this is the data generation from the axi bus we just need the the to issue the commands now the commands are much simpler here like we saw in the simulation we need here we have eight bits of data which are zero in the command so we have eight bits of data then we have the address here is the stream to memory address and here is the memory to stream address then we have four and i remind you it's an eof eof and type and the size exactly as the vio wrote it here when does the valid rows when we decide to start the transaction the command so here we start the command one cycle after the vio rows the start signal and then it waits two more cycles and start the transaction in the memory to stream transaction we just uh, initiate the command and that's it the data mover worked for itself so this is our file we'll save it and now how we need to to add it to our block design we can either do 
an IP packager, use an IP packager, and this will build another uh, Vivado project. Uh, and I find it a little more complicated. There are several videos on that. Uh, but I want to show you an easier method, and that to use the add model. Add model, add a, the file directly to the block design, and here it is. Since we use the methodology for our uh, XI stream bus and the commands, the block design recognize these as buses and use an interface to allow us to connect the memory to stream command. The, da the data and the stream to memory command. Connect automation is connecting the clocks. Next, we'll need a VIO. Now the VIO, I want to see in the VIO, I want to see the errors from the data mover because like I said, if they are went high, we have a problem. And we need six output ports, one for the start of the stream to memory, 32 bits of stream to memory address, 16 bits of stream to memory size, one bit for start of memory to stream, 32 bits for memory to stream address, and 16 bits for uh, memory to stream size. Now we n just need to connect. Like you see, this method easily translate inputs and outputs, and it's much faster than using IP Packager. We just connect this. And we connect the error. And let auto connection connect the clocks. There is one more clock here for the master uh, general purpose bus here. And the last thing we want to do is view the signals in our ILA. So for this, we have there are three buses here which are not connected. We'll just make them as external just for the purpose of connecting them to an ILA. And we'll mark all the buses as debug. And with auto connection, we will connect an ILA. Now that those three are connected to the ILA, we don't need the external ports anymore, so we'll remove them. And we need two more ports for the errors. Now we can use the system ILA either as interface or as native or as mix. So we'll use mix to add two more ports for the errors. Here is two more ports. Okay, and we'll connect the errors. Hopefully they will stay low. And that's our design. The data mover, the data generator, the VIO, the ILA, the smart connect, and the zinc. So this is it. Now we just need a top level since we don't have any inputs and outputs other than the DDR. We can use a wrapper, so we'll create a wrapper. We'll let Vivado keep it for us. We'll make it as top level. We need to generate the block design to see everything went smoothly.
and it did. One more word on addresses. Here you see that the process system, the zinc, had but nothing happened here, and the data mover can see the DDR in addresses 0 to 1 FFFFF. We make sure that our wrapper is the top level design and we can generate bitstream. This will take a while. So working the I'll, I'll generate a bitstream and I'll meet you in my next video to work this design. Thank you and goodbye.